we need to create still broader opportunities for a more incisive female presence in the church. Hello, I am Sister Barbara Reed, Vice President and Academic Dean and Professor of New Testament Studies at Catholic Theological Union in Chicago. In his new apostolic exhortation, Evangelii Gaudium, the joy of the gospel, Pope Francis says in paragraph 103, we need to create still broader opportunities for a more incisive female presence in the church. It's now been almost 11 months since Pope Francis has sparked a genuine renewal. It is primarily through his contagious joy, his constant emphasis on mercy, and his great attention to those who are made poor and those most thrust to the margins. For example, for his birthday in December, he invited four homeless people to come and celebrate Mass with him in his home. And in November, there was a picture that went round the world of him unhesitatingly embracing a man with a severely disfiguring disease. Indeed, Pope Francis has been most exemplary in the way that he reaches out to those who are most on the margins. And he has invited us to dream with him about a church that is a home for all, not a small chapel that can hold only a small group of select people. It is most heartening then that Pope Francis has recognized that there are ways that women have been kept at the margins in some arenas in the church and that he says we need to create still broader opportunities for a more incisive female presence in the church. Now, there has always been a female presence in the church. Since the very beginning of Christianity, women like Mary Magdalene, Joanna, and Susanna, and many other Galilean women accompanied Jesus as disciples throughout his mission. And the Gospels of Matthew and John tell that it was Mary and her companions who were the first to see the risen Christ and to be entrusted with the joy of the gospel. And in Paul's letters and in the Acts of the Apostles, we hear of Phoebe, who was deacon and leader of the church at Cancrie, and of Prisca, who was teacher, evangelizer, and head of a house church, and of Junia, who was notable among the apostles. There has always been a female presence in the church, but females have been noticeably absent from some arenas, particularly sacramental ministry and leadership and decision-making arenas. In Evangelii Gaudium, Pope Francis says that the presence of women must be guaranteed in the various settings where important decisions are made, both in the church and in social structures. When Pope Francis calls for creating still broader opportunities for a more incisive female presence in the church, we have great hope that at his urging, there will be a new opening for the full flourishing of women's gifts in the church in every arena.